Hi, my name is Terry Hendricks. I'm the chassis manager for Rush Performance Products. We are out here today at Gingerman Raceway. We've been testing the Track Pack Mustang, doing production validation testing on it. The Stage 3 Mustang prior to the Track Pack was our best performing Mustang uh, in both the ride and handling and braking departments. With the Track Pack Mustang, what we did compared to a Stage 3 is that we tightened up the racetrack response. We tightened up the shock absorber tuning, we tightened up the spring rates so that the vehicle would respond faster, that it would generate more cornering power, and that the braking system would work lap after lap, maintaining a very high rate of speed compared to a Stage 3 or other Mustangs. After driving a lot of cars for a lot of years, this uh, Mustang is by far one of the ultimate driving track cars. Having lots of experience behind the wheel with various car clubs, which I instruct for, uh, I was quite surprised with the car and how easy it is to drive right off the bat for a beginner or an experienced level driver. It's uh, very well behaved, it's very easy to toss in the corners, and uh, it's phenomenal power. It gives you the ability just to drive the wheels off the car and have a lot of fun with it. Some of the differences between a Stage 3 and a Track Pack Mustang lie primarily in the chassis and brake department. The Track Pack Mustang uses dedicated coilover adjustable dampers, adjustable for ride height and rebound damping. We have adjustable camber plates to try to maximize front end grip during track performance. We have larger six piston front brakes with larger pads that help improve track performance and improve pad life. We also have functional brake ducting going to those six piston calipers. We have a functional carbon fiber rear wing as well as hood pins to help keep the hood from fluttering at speed. We have a uh, three gauge pod which goes in the, uh, on the dashboard in, which includes a shift light to help aid driver performance. And then we have a true track Torsen style rear differential again to try to improve on track handling performance. One of the best experiences of driving one of these cars is the way it responds. A good car will respond to the driver so that the driver and the car can interact without having to think that you're driving the car. You can pretty much do whatever you want with it. You can toss it into the corner. You don't ever have to worry about the brakes fading or going out on you. The car goes where you point it. It settles down quickly and it allows you to drive it around the track with a lot of confidence. If you're a beginning track day driver, the car's got plenty of room for you to grow with it. If you're an advanced track driver, you're gonna have a lot of fun with it because you'll be able to do exactly whatever you want with it and it will never let you down. <laughs> We've been here for two days doing testing with these two cars behind me. Uh, both of the cars still have the, have the same tires and the same brake pads and nothing broke. Everything is holding up and they're ready for more. This car was, was meant to cater to the weekend track enthusiast who craves more speed and excitement over a standard Mustang. This is the kind of car that the engineers and myself who worked on it would like to take out to the track on a weekend. This is Terry Hendricks, thanks for coming out. If I see you at the track and you don't have a track pack Mustang, you'll be behind me. <laughs> <laughs>